Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. And if you've been waiting for this one, exactly right on time. This is gonna be for the Swan security camera here. Now this camera actually links up to the same Swan security app as my previous video that I made about the Swan security enforcer 4K security camera system. That will be linked in the description box below at the very end of this video as well. I'll have a tab, you can click on that. Watch that 4K security camera dialed in. This is a nice single camera here that again connects to the same app. It has some pretty sweet features to it. And this one is the tracker security camera. Let me run a few features by you guys really quickly. You can connect it to your Google Home device or your Echo device. I won't use the trigger word, but you can actually use your devices to show on your home hub if you have one of those or if you have it linked up to your television, etc. Then you just speech and it'll show you what the camera is seeing. It has auto track and zoom. It is 180 degree full room view, free local recording, and two-way talk, two-way audio for listening and speaking as well. In the box, you're gonna have a 32 gigabyte memory card, which is awesome for storing footage. This camera is full 1080p, goes off of Wi-Fi. You do have to plug it into a power source, but it is a wire-free connection, meaning that it goes off of Wi-Fi to your home's internet. But you will need a power source, which this does come with a power plug. Now, even though this does come with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, it's compatible up to a 128 if you want more footage recorded to that memory card. We will, of course, be going over all the features in this video. Alrighty, let's get this guy on out of the box and see what we got. Okay, right inside the box there, we have our little packaging here. Let's get to the cables and manual, et cetera, first, and then we will, of course, be getting to the camera. So we have, in here we have our quick start guide, and you have your security stickers, et cetera. They give you eight of those, and then two of these ones you put up like in your shop window, et cetera, stick in from the inside there, so they shine on that side or that side. But two of those, and then eight of the smaller ones there. And then in here, we're gonna have our power cable for our camera. And if you are wondering, that is about a four and a half foot, maybe five foot or so, but I'm gonna go with guesstimation more about four and a half foot. That is a micro USB cable there. And again, guys, just like all my unboxing and review videos in the description box is gonna be the link for this exact same product. You guys in the UK, if they sell it in the UK, I will have you guys linked as well. So they have different adapters, which is nice too. So they obviously do sell it in the different countries. This would be our US and that clicks into play there. And then if you wanna switch over, to, uh, I'm not 100% what country that's for. That's either for the EU, I'm not exactly sure, or it could be the UK. And if you're wondering, that's coming in at five volt, two amp with 10W. And next up, they give you some drywall anchors and screws for mounting this camera up. And this is a metal back plate as well for your camera there to mount that up. And now lastly, let's go ahead and get out the camera. And the 32 gigabyte SD card, micro SD card is actually in the camera already. I was actually looking around for that. And lo and behold, it's in the camera. We do have a little plastic right here that we do need to remove. And there we go. Let's take a look at the camera here. A very small camera fits in the palm of my hand here. All right, so here's the bottom of the camera here. And as you can see here, underneath my thumb is the QR code reader. You're gonna have to scan on your app before you do mount it. And the back plate is actually a magnet. And I won't uncover this QR code for security purposes, but this goes right in the middle and that's completely magnetic. So once this is mounted, it mounts up so that will magnetically clip on there so you can easily take it down if you desire. All right, without further ado, we will test this guy and see how it does. We had another little lens cover over the lens we took off, a little plastic piece. There is our speaker there, reset button right on the bottom there. And this will pivot all the way down like that if you wanna stick it up like this or pivot upside down it can twist to different angles, et cetera, with this little ball joint here. Let's go ahead and fire it up and see what she can do. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the Swan Security app here. Now, remember, you can connect your other Swan Security System devices to this app as well. So if you guys have not already seen my video on the Enforcer Security Camera System, 
That video will already be up on this channel and I also will link it at the very end of this video. And what that does is I have a six channel, right? So I got six cameras with that one hooked up all over my house. And then let's go back to obviously this video, which is gonna be the tracker camera. A wide angle up on top and it gives you a shorter, straighter one here down at the bottom. So this one's a little bit more stretched out. That's panorama. So this is on a bookshelf. We're gonna get to that in just a little bit. We're gonna go in the office and take a look at that. And then it's giving you a straight shot at the doors here, more zoomed in look at my computer screen here, my chair, my desk here, and those are the French doors out there. Look at the wide angle of the clock here. And then this, I mean, that's a huge, panorama right there as well. So let's go ahead and go down to, and let's go ahead and expand this camera here. And let's go ahead and right now, it automatically kicks it in low. Now hitting this one up here, you can go ahead and keep it in dual. You can go ahead and hit this one and it will go to pano right there where it kind of, uh, there it goes, it switches over. That took uh, upwards about seven seconds or so to switch over. Now I'm in pano. So if you rather have pano instead of a zoomed in and a wide angle, then pano would be your shot right here. Now it probably will switch over quicker. Like let's say if we go to medium quality and then let's go ahead and switch over to dual. I noticed this on the enforcer system as well. So if you put it in a lower quality, it should be able to switch over a little quicker there. Yeah, it was a little bit quicker. Um, but just know that there will be a little bit of lag time uh, on your device before you do switch over. Uh, let's go back to high and let's go ahead and go to pano one more time. Alrighty, and now that we're back in pano, I prefer pano over the dual. Now let's go into zoom. So we'll go ahead and hit zoom and see what this does. That might do the kind of the dual camera, yeah. So that just goes to where the dual camera has you right there. So if you want kind of a zoomed in look right there, then keep it on uh, the zoom there. Let's see if we can, okay, it looks like you can digitally zoom in as well. It says I'm in high, but it looks a little bit scattered a little bit. I'm not sure if it's trying to catch up with the pixelation, but wow, you can get really close, my goodness gracious. And even more too, wow. Uh, so you literally could zoom in pretty far um, and now that we're over here, real quickly, I know this is not part of the video, but so the enforcer system as well, you can zoom in really well. Okay, sorry, coming back over here. So there is zoom. Uh, let's go to pano one more time. I like the crispness now. I think it's because it's digitally zoomed in. Uh, so let's try it right here and let's see what happens. So that painting back there is still pixelated. Um, as we can see there, but coming back to the shot, you definitely can see, look how crisp the clock looks right up here. We are gonna go in the office. Like I mentioned, we also will be testing night vision as well. Now, when I walk in the room, you will get a push notification to your tablet. We're actually looking at a 10.1 inch screen tablet, but it would also register on my phone. I don't think that's gonna come up while I'm filming, but we'll try to keep it on the tablet to see if I get it on the tablet. Now, let's say you wanted to record to your device. You wanted to take a picture. Let's say there's an intruder. You go ahead and hit that record button and that snapshot right there. Because it does have two-way audio, you can push that microphone button and you can talk. You can do an alarm. Uh, I don't know if this camera does this. Obviously we saw it zoom in, but I don't believe that control does anything. It might, no, that just goes to the next that goes to the next camera. Some of these devices on this app work with other camera systems, so just understand that. But again, that button right there is the one you go to for zoom, pano, or dual. So let's just go ahead and hit this, and you will have to give it permission to check out audio. So right now I have it off, talk off. So let's go ahead and walk into the room here, and we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look at it here. So I'm gonna be approaching, and I'll see if anything pops up on the tablet here as I'm rolling around the corner. And we're gonna go ahead and see the lag time as well. This is a review video. I'm actually standing right in front of it right now and I still haven't approached around. Uh, that might be to the high quality. I do notice that the Swan app, unfortunately, so there I am right there, kind of refreshed it. And then I just appear into the camera there. So 
If you are getting lag time, you might want to kick down the quality to medium there. Now, I'm actually getting some verbiage back here because of the two-way audio. I'm not sure if you can pick that up. It's going off my speakers on my tablet. So let's try that. Okay, so as I speak, it's getting the reverb just about a second later. There it is in the corner right there. So let's go ahead and walk up to this real quickly here. So as you can see here, the camera is literally picking up this. It's so wide angled here. And then here is the clock right here, shining right over here, this direction. So it's literally picking up all this, the painting, the mirror, and all that right there. I'm still hearing myself on my tablet for the two-way audio. Okay, let's go ahead and sit down real quickly here. And there is the push notifications that pop up right there. Motion detection for channel one. Motion detection for channel one, that's my enforcer camera system and motion detected on Benzy cam. That would of course be that one up there. All right, sorry for a little bit of the glare there, but let's go ahead and hit. Now we're going to get a little bit of reverb from obviously my voice here. So let's go ahead and try to, because right now we're listening in from my voice entering into the device and then going back through my speakers here on the tablet. But we want to go ahead and talk. Hey. Hey, what's happening? Hey. Hey. All right, so for the next example, I'm actually going to mute my voice so I don't hear my voice back. So we're gonna go ahead and mute that. But you go ahead and hit the little microphone button here. Now with the tablet, the phone, it's easier to see, but the tablet, it kind of hides down here. So here we go right here. So as you can see there, I just barely pushed it. Now you have to press it to talk. So you have to hold your finger on it and then it's gonna pick it up over in the corner here. Uh, three, two, one, hey. Get out of here. Intruder, intruder. Intruder alert. Very nice. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. That works great, guys. There's barely any delay on that one. Very, very cool. Be able to talk to your pets, tell your children to stop messing around and go back to sleep. That's a great feature there. Check out the alarm function here. So if you do see an intruder, let's go ahead and hit this little blue bell here. And if the microphone's picking that up, that's fairly loud. That's gonna probably scare somebody away. It's not over the top loud, but not bad. Again, in my settings, I only have the microphone at about 90% as the speaker as well. So that will go up another 10%. Very nice feature though. Now for playback with the tablet or the cell phone maybe, but the tablet definitely, you have to put it in vertical mode here and that will go ahead and show you the little buttons down here. Now, of course we have settings. You go into your device. Here is the tracker camera. Here is the enforcer system here. Also in notifications, here are your notifications here in that menu there. Let's go over to playback. Now playback will give us right here, it's again recorded on the memory card included with the tracker camera. So let's go ahead and check out this one here. We go ahead and tap on that one and we'll go ahead and play our playback. Now it's not 24 hour seven recording, but it does start recording when it does pick up motion detection. So as you can see there, if someone was snooping in my office, boom, I got them on camera. Boom, we're zooming in, boom, there you go, police. Who's this guy? Who's this guy trying to get up on my action? <laughs> I like that. So again, you go to playback, and then you can see the date and time up here is obviously today. Let's go back to yesterday, and it will go ahead and click on in your different ones here. And I believe you can go the big arrow, you can go back one month, and then you would just crank up the little small arrow for the day, and then the big arrow would take you to the next month ahead. And then it would cycle through, and I think after just a split second, it will actually light up into the little boxes like we saw earlier. Depends on your internet connection and how good your tablet is. So those are great functions for the tracker camera. Let's go ahead and hit live view, and we'll go ahead and try to see how fast this jumps back into play there. Okay, there we go, not bad at all. Remember, it is going off of all the cameras, so only one camera might be a little quicker, but that wasn't too much lag time there. Here are the camera settings, of course. Uh, max, indoor, outdoor, 50, 60 hertz. You can mirror the image, flip the image. 
The volume microphone again is on 90%. Speaker volume is on 90%. There's also the motion detection, sensitivity, close, uh, medium, far, or max. So play around with that. Auto tracking is on. Siren duration, you can have all that right there as well. Check for updates, admin, technical, Details and storage here would be your 16 gigabyte memory card. And then here again is all the stuff that it has picked up. There's when I flipped it around to the bookshelf there. There's me with the back of my head. Okay, so sorry about the glare. I'm gonna try to get the best shot I possibly can. But before we do check out night vision, let's check out why it's called the tracker camera. We're in dual mode here. So let me go ahead and walk this way. As you can see, there I am there. Let me go ahead and walk backwards and the zoomed in camera will go ahead and pick me up. There it is right there. It will track my image there as we get a notification bell right there. So it will literally track you on the bottom zoomed in one. So someone's in your office snooping around. Let me walk over here, watch it just track me as it zooms in on my image all by itself, digitally zooming in again in the corner over there. Let's go ahead and look at that one more time as I'm going to go over this direction here and the camera will digitally follow me. Sorry again for the glare there as I'm right there. Boom, you're picking that up. Oh, you're going to jail, buddy. Look at me in the corner over there. Look at me in the corner over there. You're going to jail, buddy. That is what is super cool about the dual mode. Let's go ahead and see if that happens in regular pano as well. So again, we're not picking up any volume because obviously, you know, uh, I muted that for the playback. Let's see, is that tracking me? I don't think so, because it's already in pano. I think there's no need to track, but there's motion detection right there. So I think the dual mode is the one because it doesn't need to track me, but I do like that feature of, of digitally zooming in as I get another notification with a little bell there as I move closer to it. So that's really sweet. So I'll leave that up to you, what features you like about that better, but, but that's obviously why it's called the Trekker camera. Now let me go ahead and roll around. See, I'm not getting any lag time really now. So I think once the camera is locked and loaded, we're looking really good there. Sweet, now we need to test night vision. All right, folks, it's time to check out night vision. As you can see here, I'm just right over here, hanging out right here at the desk. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lights. We're gonna check out night vision now. As you can see there, there's the French door. So let's see how we look on camera. All right, so look at this. That looks fantastic. Now, for some reason, if you're not getting the full spectrum of the night vision, go ahead and push it out away from like the edge here where it's shining on things and it's taking up the night vision. And so as we can see here, we can see all the way over there to the doors there. Here I am just fully lit up clock. That's great night vision. I'm going to go ahead and get up here and let's go ahead and take a look and see what we're looking like here. Very nice. You can see my hair. You can see that I have facial hair. We have our little motion detection, obviously right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and raise the camera up to show you what my phone that I'm filming on sees but that my naked eye does not see. Let me describe it now. My eyes cannot see those red lights on the right and left, but my naked eye can see the really bright one at the very, very top. But once again, on screen, my phone is actually picking up the night vision, all the little ones to the right and left, but my naked eye can only see the one again on the top. So as you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and look in the camera there. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull back, and so we can see a little bit better without me stumbling around in the dark here. So here I go over here, you can see my computer set up, the French doors as I shuffle over here. And let's go ahead and now turn back around. Obviously, the tablet is shining on my face a little bit there. But as we can see, they're totally picking up a human being. You can even see the posture. Uh, you can see that I'm a male wearing shorts and socks and slips. <laughs> That's some great night vision right there. You can see the whole computer desk and system there, the wood, the grain, the fan. Look at that right there. Look at how clear the clock is right there with the time and date. That's fantastic night vision there. I'm gonna go ahead and lastly, before I do let you go, I'm gonna go ahead and back it all the way up to the doors here. And we're gonna go ahead and see what I look like way back here. As you can see, I'm still back there. Obviously the tablet is shining on my face like I mentioned earlier. I'm very impressed.
Well, thank you guys so much for watching the Swan Tracker security camera video. I appreciate you guys. And just like all my unboxing and review videos, once again, that link will be in the description box below. But please guys, don't go into debt for anything that I do make a review video about. If you have the cash and you feel frisky and you wanna purchase away, go right ahead. That will be again in the description box below. Thumbs that video up if it has helped you with an informed decision and subscribe on your way out. We'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.